Yo friends, Pat Chadwick here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to do a front lever step by step. Now I'll cover the front lever progressions as well as the front lever supporting exercise as these two will go hand in hand for you to be able to train for the front lever and fast track your progress towards being able to hold it fully. Now there'll be seven progressions in total that you will go through for the front lever and you will practice them as your very first exercise of your front lever training, okay? So whatever stage you are at, out of the seven, the progression will be the first exercise that you will practice for five sets, okay? So I'll now walk you through all the progression. Up first, we got the tuck front lever where your knees are behind the bar. Advanced tuck front lever where your knees are over the bar. One leg front lever. Advanced one leg front lever. Straddle front lever. Half lay front lever and then full front lever. Right, so that was demonstrations on all of the progressions for the front lever. Pretty much, you will choose whatever progression you are on and you'll work on it for five sets as the very first exercise, okay? And your aim is to be able to hold 20 seconds on each progression for five sets before moving on to the next exercise. It's like, first, you need to be able to crawl in order for you to walk. So this is what we're doing. We're basically setting up the foundation. So we're really strengthening your core and your lats. Of course, you can experiment from time to time. I say a weekly basis, just to try, maybe attempt the next progression. So if you're at the tuck front lever, you can try to go to the advanced tuck by opening up your knees and just to see how your body will respond. Awesome, so now I'll show you the five supporting exercises that you should practice along with your progressions in order to streamline your progress towards unlocking the front lever, okay? So the first exercise is called front lever raises. So with the front lever raise, you're gonna start in a dead hang position, feet together, and then you're gonna raise up until your body is perfectly horizontal. All right, so keep your arms locked out, your scapula retracted, your core engaged, your legs together. Now, if you're a beginner and you're not yet able to do the full front lever raise, you can regress down. So if I were you, I would start off with tuck raises. So keep your knees tucked in and just raise up until you're about horizontal. Keep looking forward all the time. And then once that become easy, you then do the advanced tuck. So extend your knees out a little bit more. And you can do one leg raise. Straddle raises. And then eventually you'll be able to have enough strength to be able to do full front lever raises. Second progression is called front lever negatives, okay? So you get into an inverted front lever position, feet together, core engage, and we're gonna lower down slowly. So try to lower down at a count of three. Okay, so I'll go again, push your hips up, squeeze, point your toes, one, two, three. Now, if you're a beginner, initially you may just drop and that's completely normal. As you get stronger, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yes, if you're a beginner, you may initially just drop with no control, but that is completely fine. That's really normal because you're not yet conditioned to the movement path. So a great alternative is to regress. So you can do one leg, negative. Make sure to do both legs. And then straddle. Work your way up towards being able to do full front lever. Third supporting exercise is called tuck front lever pull-ups. Ideally, you want to do advanced tuck front lever pull-ups. So, go into the advanced tuck. And then pull. Try to have a false grip, but my hands are slipping because I don't chalk. If you cannot do uh, advanced tuck front lever pull-ups, you can just do tuck front lever pull-ups. Just normal. And just build up strength for it. Just try to open your knees as you get stronger. The fourth supporting exercise is called inverted deadlifts, okay? So get into an inverted pull-up position. Gonna sink your hips down until your back is parallel to the ground, keeping your legs 
and your arms up and out. Push forward using your lower back. And this will really work on your core and your lats. Last but not least, the fifth supporting exercise is pull-ups. Okay, why do we do pull-ups? Well, the front lever predominantly targets your lats and your core, which makes pull-ups a great accessory exercise because pull-ups is a compound movement that also targets your lats and your core. I highly recommend you mix up the grip. So between doing shoulders width grip pull-up and wide grip pull-up, because the wider you go, the more emphasis this will put on your lats okay and keep your core squeezed as well pull up until your chin is above the bar lock your arms up so there you have it guys i've given you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to unlock the front lever covering seven progressions that you must go through remember to do them at the start of your workout as the first exercise aim to be able to hold each progression for 20 seconds before moving on to the next progression. And then I've showed you the five supporting exercises that must go hand in hand with the progression. So choose around two to three supporting exercises and combine it with the front lever progressions and that should have your workout. And a good place to start training for your front lever is to do it around three times a week at bare minimum and up to five times a week as this will allow your body to rest and recover for your next session. Awesome, so if you do find this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button that is located under this video so that others will be able to benefit from this video and so that you will be able to be notified for future workout tutorial. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.